Hello from Chinature.com. This is Mark Josie. Today I would like to talk about uh, good, good, <laughs> detune and bad detune for uh, air guns for Canadians. So uh, maybe you don't know, but let me just uh, repeat this again for Canadian gun law. The rule for um, air guns and so as some airsoft guns is all about the FPS unlike UK Germany France whatever they have limit in power muscle energy so they say okay um, 12 FPE or 15 FPE whatever okay so foot pound of energy um, that kind of limit we do not have this limit in Canada it's always above 500 FPS or um, under or above okay so anything that goes above the um, 500 FPS mark will be considered as a firearm and you will need a license a firearm license a PAL license to uh, possess or even buy the gun so some people are like hey I can put um, very light projectile into this kind of gun which I can buy legally and then I shoot it out of the gun and it shows like 1000 FPS wow you know like put a kill tip in there now you you get a gun that is outlawed that that's not how it works there is also a, a secondary requirement to fit that uh, rule so it have to be 500 FPS and uh, also like above 500 FPS and also have to be above the uh, muscle energy of 4.2 joules and which is uh, 4.2 foot pound okay, FPE so if you're under that you're fine so it, it's like one or the other okay so FPS and foot pound you can go over the uh, foot pound and under the FPS so that means, okay, if you buy a .177 caliber air gun, okay, um, you can get it to 500 FPS and uh, just keep it like below that 4.2 FPE and uh, it can go over 500 FPS a bit if it is actually shooting under 4.2 FPE. If you buy a .22 caliber, you will be going over 4.2 FPE very easily even though you're not going over 500 FPS but that's fine still legal if you have a let's say 0.25 okay 25 caliber and uh, you have bigger balls bigger ammunition fine as long as it is below 500 FPS and it, it's okay even if it's above the 4.2 foot pound so that means if you have a paintball gun, okay, like the Tiberius T8.1, a paintball gun, big balls, okay, it outputs over that 10 FPE mark or whatever. But because the thing is not flying over 500 FPS, you're safe. Okay, so what is a good detune and a bad detune? Today I'll show you a very, like, it's not even something that you can compare, but um, two different detuned version Canadian version gun here one of them is detuned by uh, Crossman so one of the guns I'm going to chrono today to show you is the Crossman 1377 uh, which is a also called the American American classic it's a pump action uh, .177 caliber gun pellet gun we're going to shoot the same pellet with this and also with a custom detuned gun okay this one is detuned at a factory they detune like they make a detuned valve and everything is supposed to fit that requirement under 500 fps whatever okay so the other one i'm going to do is a very high-end gun that that you will never compare that with the other one this is the air arm uh hft 500 it a field target hunter field target um rifle it's especially crazy accurate and it's not even the same class i know but i'm just going to show you the detune work okay this gun is detuned to below 500 fps okay so both guns are legal okay even though this one looks more badass so i'm going to pop this gun to 10 pumps and then chrono it right here so you can see the result of five shots now this is 
Like if you're a buyer, you know that we cannot go over 500 FPS, right? But then you want the max out of the guns. And this gun is promoted or marketed as um, 495 FPS on the box, okay? Right on the box. So today we're gonna shoot some R10 match pellet. This is the pellet, 8.2 grains, okay? A watch cutter. So very high end pellet. So you can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. I'm gonna put one shot in and let's see what it will do. Supposed to be 495. This is only a rounded off number. Okay, 400.4. That's really good with a heavy pellet. Okay, 400.4. Let's do one more shot. One, two, three, four, five, six, ooh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. It's pretty good, you know, 400 FPS, very nice. It's working great. Okay. Second shot. Three ninety-eight point five. So that's two FPS difference. Really amazing. Really good. Okay. But it's nowhere near that uh, 500 FPS though. Okay, I, I guess this is 10 shot, I mean 10 pump. Okay, pellet. Okay. Third one, 405.6. Not bad, okay, we're getting around that 400 mark. But don't worry, you get no, the 500 though. Okay, 10 pumps. So let's see what happened. Fourth shot. Three ninety nine point nine. I guess you you get the idea, right? So you get all the four hundred FPS mark. Okay, this is what I call a not very good detune because for a Canadian you don't get what <coughs> what you is supposed to get on the box, right? Like they say four hundred ninety five. Okay, I expect a little bit higher. You know, a little bit um, closer. So even with this, I expect it to be just staying below the five hundred FPS, and this sh it should be good. It's not. So um, even with a lighter pellet, it's, it's going to not even fly over 450. So you're not getting what you're paid for. Now, this is the air arm rifle right now. Yeah, I'm going to shoot this one. So uh, let me load one pellet in. Same pellet. Okay, let me just uh, put myself a little bit further away. Okay, same pellet. Super smooth action on this gun. Wow, okay, first shot. Ready. See, 485.3. That is close. That is close, you know, open, like really close. 485.3. Let's see the second shot. 482. You see, very, very close. And now this is closer to the 500 FPS, right? At least you're getting somewhere near the top that you're supposed to get. Okay, third shot is 482.8. Okay, fourth shot. As you can see, the consistency is very much top notch too, but also the power, you know, you're getting really close to the mark that you're supposed to get. Okay, 483.1. Okay, now at least, you know, with pellet, you're you're getting somewhere that you're supposed to, to get. And um, that's what I call a good detune. You know, they, they give you what you're supposed to get. <clears throat> okay, so there we go for uh, 81. It's all around this range, okay. And it's very legal, of course. So, um, yeah, that, that's how I call this a nice detuned job. You know, you get what you're supposed to get. 
and you you paid for the money, you know, you you paid for the product, and you want to get something that um, you know, you're you're supposed to get on the right there, like just sit on the box for uh, 95 FPS. You know, you expect it to be somewhere near it, and if you don't see that number in the chronograph, you feel like uh, not very happy, right? You know, um, like we don't mind to be legal and play with the game as long as you know give me something closer <laughs> so um yeah it's but it, it's like that you know most of the guns on the market they like to overrate their fps and so for canadian especially uh we have a lot of guns like the um the crossman guns and stuff and the gamo and they're all overrated so these fps number that you'll see on a box is always so much higher than what's in reality Whereas with a uh, gunsmith doing a detune job for you, like from Aragon Source, they will tune it right on the spot where it is just right, almost right over that limit. And so you get the maximum power you can get without getting a license and still stay legal. That's what I call a good detune job. Okay, anyway, so um, <laughs> thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and like. So if you like to have your guns custom detuned and you know, it's one of those high-end guns. Make sure that if you're in Canada, uh, stick to Airgun Source. They're really trusted, like really trustworthy, and I always go there for my air guns. Okay, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and like. Bye-bye!